Hello everybody and welcome back to another Godfall video. Today I've got an EXP slash gear slash legendary farm for you. Uh, it's really really good and essentially it will cost you absolutely nothing. Uh, the problem with this game right now is resources are really really hard to come by uh, and you have to find yourself going to low level areas to farm just weak mobs that you're going to get nothing good from and therefore then at that point you just it's just pretty boring right it's not the, not the best so what you can do you can head over to your dream stones you need to be at the dream stone level 54 at least to do this because you want at least level 50 gear from it anything below uh, and you're going to get that level of gear for that level appropriate dream stone uh, as you can see here i've already set this one up i'm on the level 54 dream stone this is the first one you can do this at uh, but you can essentially do this farm at any Dreamstone where you've got to kill multiple bosses. So set your Dreamstone up, uh, do your boons and put as much damage on as possible. Uh, whatever's good for the gear that you are running. As you can see at the bottom left here I've got 30% extra damage on, 11 critical hit chance and 53% critical hit damage as well. Which was the best ones that I could get for this run because they're random. Uh, set that up. Obviously you've got to buy the Dreamstone once, you've got to have enough materials to buy the Dreamstone once. But once you've bought it and you've set it up and you've run the missions, the, the first two rounds, you can head on it in. You can do this solo or you can do this in a group. Uh, at first I was doing it in a group, uh, my build wasn't actually up to scratch and that's why I was trying to find a way of actually doing some kind of essentially gear farming method. But it turns out that I found a bit of both, Once one that provides materials and one that also provides gear as well and at no cost whatsoever so I'm just going to let this bit run through all you need to do is go in uh, we're going to kill the first three bosses the guy in the middle the guy on the left and then the guy on the right hand side we're then going to exit out and abandon before the guy at the very back uh, becomes alive we're definitely not going to kill him we're going to collect all our gear and we're going to exit and then you can rinse and repeat so essentially you get a chance at three bosses worth of legendary drops and anything else that they drop, materials and money. And then you're going to exit and you're going to do the same over and over again. And then at that point, it's going to cost you absolutely nothing to keep repeating this level. You're straight in here as well, so there's no messing around. You're straight to the bosses. And it makes it really, really quick and really nice. So I'll let the fights roll out just for once and show you the actual method. And I'll be back to you shortly. And there we go, there is our third boss dead. So we're going to pick up all of our loot, even though the fourth boss is going to come alive. Unfortunately this run doesn't look like we got a legendary, but we got a lot of other stuff that we can deconstruct and get a lot of materials from. Just make sure we've picked everything up. And all you do is hit select, and you're going to abandon the emission, and you're going to jump straight out. The game's got really quick loading times, which makes this even more efficient. And when you go back to your menu, you can see 
it just wants us to start again. It's going to cost us absolutely nothing. We don't have to do the two previous missions. And we can jump straight in, straight back at the very first boss. And we get to kill all three again and get all the loot over again. One thing I do want to mention, uh, you can put this on hard difficulty uh, for the most drops. If you can't do it on hard and it's not efficient, obviously put it on normal or easy uh, until you can get into your groove with this. Uh, but if you do die, if I died on this guy now, it wouldn't matter. Essentially, it just resets the mission. As if I was doing the, the abandon on the mission anyway. Now I'm pretty sure this isn't working as intended, uh, it's kind of like skipping a lot of the system so I think it will get patched out pretty quickly when this becomes the meta for everybody farming so do hit it while it's hot. Uh, but hopefully they'll give us a better way of collecting materials because right now having to farm the low level stuff is uh, pretty tiring uh, to be able to get the materials to do all of our upgrades and to be able to get into the dream stones. Let me know what you think, come and check me out over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash djtickle where you'll find me streaming most days, I might be streaming right now so come and say hi. Give me a thumbs up to help with that YouTube algorithm and comment down below on how you're finding Godfall and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody, goodbye.